They've trained for two years and now they're ready. French trio Stephanie, Alex and Flora are planning to paddle non-stop from Canada to Cap Breton in southwestern France. They'll relay each other every two hours, day and night, for the 5,000 kilometer crossing. The aim, to set a new world record. It's the first time in the world that three women, three people, are attempting to relay across an ocean. The current world record distance is about 500 kilometers. A catamaran will accompany them along the way. It's somewhere to sleep and eat and provide 24-hour security if anything goes awry. Because even for an award-winning team with international titles to their names, the journey is bound to be tough. The first 500, 600 kilometers will be very difficult because the water will only be 7 degrees. We're going to run into fog, which means the accompanying boat could lose sight of us. And then there's our physical condition and the risks of injuries like tendonitis or skin problems that are common when you paddle. After all, we'll be paddling almost eight hours a day. The athletes will also have to push through psychological barriers if they want to maintain a projected rate of 100 kilometers a day. At its heart, this is a sporting challenge, dependent on physical form. But the further we get, the more tired we'll become and something will give. It's got to when you're paddling so much every day. And it's at that point that mental strength really takes over. And in the end, it'll all come down to that. There's also a scientific point to the journey. The trio will collect plankton along the way for climate change research, and a medical team will study the impact on their bodies. Stephanie, Alex and Flora plan to kick off from Nova Scotia in Canada in the last week of June and hope to arrive back in France in mid-August.